They ring the bell, and here we go. Both men step back for just a moment. No rest for the weary. There is not a seat to be had in this arena, Johnny. It's got that big fight feel, doesn't it? You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this. They love this. They are born for this. You have other fighters where this will be like the rabbit in the headlines. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Punch scores. Both fighters landing in these exchanges. Judge is going to have a tough job. Looks like he's going to move around the ring a little bit more. Try some stick and move. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. A counter puncher, then basically you do the counter attack. You let them get their punch off first, and then you answer in kind. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Good punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Beautiful counter punch. Let's talk about Taylor in that last round. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. You know, I've been in fights like that. When... We're hoping for an all action slug fest. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. Which fighter will say no moss? time he throws a punch a receipt is coming right back those counter punches have to hurt johnny a lot of fighters focus on their defense with their hands up this fighter focuses on their defense with their footwork moving on those angles staying out of danger outside fights create so much unpredictable movement with left to right box forward box backwards you don't know if they're going to attack or defend nightmare fighters big shots from both these fighters Got to be careful, though. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one's there to do anything out of turn. Trying to fight like Roy Jones Jr. now, bouncing on the toes. Pretty much for defensive abilities. See that again. Some amazing boxing right there. You're right, Todd. What a shot. One, two, three, four, Let's talk about Taylor in that last round. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown. And there's the bell to start the round. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with it. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. <laughs> hey. 
It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. Beautiful counter punch. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Skill for skill, tap for tap. It's like a match made in heaven. Well, Johnny, it's still early on, but what do you think about what we're seeing so far? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. There's a counter shot. We wanted action, and they are delivering. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Let's talk about Taylor in that last round. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no... And there's the bell to start the round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Nope, that hook won't score. Can they finish it? Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. I need to see that again. Some amazing boxing right there. I've got to see that again. So the fight will continue, but what does the game plan have to look like now? Got to look at his corner, look at the instructions. They're telling him to calm down, make the most of the count, get up, breathe, and move. Get behind the referee, save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner. Somehow, get to the end of the round. It's a good start to the round for this guy. No doubt at all. You can see who's winning. You can see who's got it in hand. You can see who's comfortable. Or is it a bit of a mouse trap? It's always fascinating to watch two good welterweights because they've got blurry hand speed and good power. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're gonna find out. That counter shot lands. Final 10 seconds here, unless something major happens. I think we all know who won that one. Let's talk about Taylor in that last round. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. They ring the bell, and here we go. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. It's all offense, all the time. time they throw a shot they get countered not a lot of punch output thought there might be more action here as we enter the final frames of this bout johnny what have we seen so far this could be really intimidating todd if you know somebody's got the punch power someone's got the speed someone can take you out with a simple jab it can be intimidating just depends on how confident you are as a fighter
Can they figure out the combination to this safe? They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Jab does not score. Good punch. You'd like to see more jabs. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Taylor in that last round. Well, he is glad to have... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Well, Johnny, we're a couple rounds in. What are you seeing so far? Oh, my goodness, look at that little Yorkshire Terriers. They're never going to give up. So much for being a good sport here. They're going to taunt. This is a high-octane battle. When are we going to see a jab from these two? This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. Hey, it's the featherweight division. You're going to see a lot of speed in this fight. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get speed, good footwork. You're going to get punches thrown from head to body. You can get a lot of toe to toe. When you've got fighters at these weight division, they'll stand there. They don't think they need a win. They need a phone box. That jab doesn't find a home. What a punch. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about Taylor in that last round. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow, it's like two different leagues. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Touching him up again. Well, Johnny, we're in the early stages here. What have you seen so far? Oh, my goodness. What pace? What pace? They're like, do you know what a Yorkshire Terrier is, Todd? That's, they're like little Yorkshire Terriers. Fantastic punch. The defense failed them. Down goes Josh Taylor. How about that impact? Let's see that again in slow motion. A shot from the gods took him out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. The 
The referee deems they can continue, but this might be a big mistake. That is a show of character. When you're put down, your regal's hurt, your chin's hurt, your body's hurting, and you've got to get up, suck it up, and think, right, I'm back in the game again. It's so, so hard for a fighter. So we enter the final 10 seconds here in a pretty dominant display. Stumbling around in potholes. Let's talk about Taylor in that last round. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. And there's the bell to start the round. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's going to do after being knocked down in the last round? Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. You don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. Well, Johnny, you know, in the lightweight division, they've got fast hands, so get ready to see some lightning. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the gym, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's all right to actually outbox the fight and beat them on points. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. And this is a you hit me hard, I'll hit you hard type of fight. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. He needs to be careful not to punch himself out. Good punch. Look at the hand speed and footwork between these two elite level middleweights. And there it is, the knockdown punch we knew was coming. Now that is a massive knockdown. Let's take another look. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? Let's talk about Taylor in that last round. So it's... They ring the bell, and here we go. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a horse on that. He's got to he's bluff them. Here we go with the lightweights. Get ready to see some blazing hand speed and fancy footwork. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Bam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. Well, this won't sit well with their opponent. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. What a round so far as we've reached the halfway point. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Well, Johnny, I know it's still early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Good punch. Is he going to punch himself out, though? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Yeah. 
Let's talk about Taylor in that last round. He is down big time on the score. The bell sometimes... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. So he's going to shake off the cobwebs and bounce around the ring a little bit here. What do you think of this fight so far, Johnny? I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. At some point, the... And they're down, trying to make it up before 10 as the referee continues the count. And as we see it again, there's no way to get up when you get clipped with a shot like that. That lights out right there. They're on their feet, but is this the beginning of the end? Some fighters, when this happens, this can be heartbreaking. Some fighters, it makes them angry. They want to get back into the mix again. I want to know, what sort of character are we looking at here? Couldn't land that jab. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Catch it, and it's code red time for Josh Taylor. What a dominant performance, and it shows up on the judges' scorecards as a unanimous decision victory. This is the last thing we expected. What a fight, what a style, what a pace to get a unanimous decision. That is mad. This, I didn't see that coming. I thought this would be tight. This is nowhere near tight.